good script because most scripts they have the story of what you say, but this script it has every option, so already it's kind of a little bit hard to tell exactly like what the, the scene's going to be like. Uh, but for me, it's the big thing is kind of the, the animations and how that affects things. Like, if you uh, remember in Story Mode 6, when I say goodbye, I say like, bye, and then I assume I'll say bye and walk away. They decided to animate it, so I say bye, then I wave my arms above my head, and I run away like this, and it's one of the most hilarious moments. And, you know, none of that's from my performance or from the script, that's just kind of, you know, the way it's been changed afterwards. I'll actually have you know that uh, that animation was custom made for your character. Uh, it was uh, based on the way that you performed. Uh, the, it, you, you and your line went uh, right after, spoilers, right after there's a big death of someone else at the table. Um, uh, you yell panic, 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 and uh, that animation was made for that. People loved it so much, they kept trying to find ways to make your character doing your flailing and running animation. It was pretty and, and fantastic. that panic, panic, panic line, that's quoted so much now, that's always sent to me. Just, just panic, 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 but I really, I really went for it when we were talking and just <laughs> screamed it into the mic. How about you guys? Yeah, for me, um, spoilers, I, I'm the one here who died in it. Um, I, I had no idea how that was going to play out, really, other than it was going to be sand, and I had to make sounds that I was suffocating. Um, and so it was, uh, it's, it's always odd to watch yourself dying from, uh, from the third person. And I don't think that's an experience too many people get to have, watching their character that they are playing themselves in a video game uh, get killed off. So it's a bit flattering, in a sense, but also sad. And I hope I don't go out that way in real life. <laughs> and that you won't be able to see it, so at least. <laughs> that one was strategic, by the way. Uh, one of the things we wanted to do with this murder mystery is, you know, as soon as, as soon as these characters are in the house, we want them to know something's amiss. But they really haven't had any time to spend with these characters, so we developed a, uh, a fake YouTuber by the name of Torque Dog, that I think was a misinterpretation of Torque Dog at some point. But but Torque Dog was set up to be an unsavory character who, um, you know, while while you never want to see anybody uh, get uh, put out by a trap, uh, when it happens to Torque Dog, it's really just there to establish that bad things are happening in this place. But then, you know, as we get into Act Two, and it happens to Sparkles, who who appears to be this character who's going to be informative and helpful, and man, I'm gonna team up with Sparkles and solve this mystery. Oh goodness, no I'm not. <laughs> Things have taken a turn. Yeah, you guys, you guys felt really emotionally attached to me, right? Like, we were friends, <laughs> and you were sad. Good, thank you. Oh, me? What? Yeah. <laughs> Look at me? Yeah, okay. no, you're Stacey. Um, well, I mean, like, like Stampy said, it was interesting, the process of recording our voices, because there were so many different options that people could play that I really wasn't 100% clear on what exactly was going to happen towards the end. Um, and can I, can I say, I recorded a, a death line, can I say that? I, re I recorded a little like when I got stabbed, like, I died, but then I ended up not being able to die, which I was very happy about. Um, but yeah, even playing it, it was like, it was really enjoyable because I honestly didn't know exactly how everything was going to play out. Yeah, so for, for the interactive scripts, what we basically do is, you know, there's a, there's a chronology for the game and the scripts are formatted so that kind of they, they go from start to end. But within that, there's all kinds of branching and the game's content uh, doesn't roll out like a TV show or a movie. It's, you know, the player is obviously taking a path through the game and so uh, just looking at a script, it can be hard to follow exactly what's going on there. Well, and I can tell you as the person whose job it is to make that make sense, uh, even making it is impossible sometimes to follow. It, it becomes such a rat's nest of conditionals and crazy things. Um, I think it's part of the magic, actually, um, but I can only imagine reading them a, a little challenging. <laughs> yeah, and then because I'd, I'd be in the uh, I'd be in the 